I humanoid gigabyte, I'm Paulina Lala, Pauli Physics, and this week I'm gonna talk about one addiction that Germans have. Stay tuned! Did you know that Germans are addicted to board and card games? I have decided to share with you my nerdy gamer side. I bring you a video about games in Germany and some of my favorite ones. Long ago I played some video games, but then I started to hate them. I really don't know why, but I do not like them at all. Which seems to be a disgrace, because if I played video games this channel would already have 2000 followers. Minimum. In my parents' place we always played a lot, from tourist, monopoly type of game, risk, memory cards, to poker, canasta and the Mexican bingo. So for me it is great when my boyfriend started teaching us new games, some social ones, others more strategic. Actually I really enjoy playing with family and friends, that's why I find Mr. Polyphysics Collection really cool. According to the Deutsche Welle's website, each year there are more than 800 new games launched to the market, and many of them are German. There is an award for the game of the year. It is chosen by experts in design, strategy, communication and the social element, that wonderful interaction. Some time ago, German couch surfers I met came with a card game called Bonanza. It was a way to socialize, leave a gift and show something of their culture. It is a game of merchants where the idea is to exchange different types of beans, because Bonne means beans in German, Bonanza. You get it, right? Do you get it? You get it. So yes, it is something Germans do a lot. Play, board or card games. Now I am going to show you some of my favorite games and I highly recommend that if you like them, check the link in my description where I share how to learn more about them. Play! You will spend fun hours, it is an incredible way to interact, also perfect to break the ice. Having to think about all the possibilities in order to make decisions, it is also an element that helps the development of your analytical skills, which is a useful life skill. So try to find something to enjoy and learn at the same time. The first one is a card game where the goal is to reach the hidden gold. We are mining dwarfs and some are bad dwarfs who do not want to let you build the road. You are building and the secret is that no one knows who is who. It is called Saboteur and there is an expansion with more roads and people. Hanabi is fantastic because it is a cooperative game. You do not see your cards, but your mates tell you what you have in order to put them in the right way and create the best fireworks show all together. Walk the Plank has beautiful illustrations. The idea is to stay on the boat or send others to walk on the plank. If you do not use your cars well, you will fall to the tentacles of Davy Jones. Ah! This is the expansion of a very strategic game. You make combinations with different cards. You collect money and then exchange it for victory cards, which are these green ones. It is called Dominion and requires quite a bit of thinking. Tokaido has an incredible design. It is a journey and the dynamics are interesting, because the last player is the one who always begins. You have characters that give you certain benefits and you are acquiring things during the trip. Look what beautiful prizes it has! Port Royale is one of the German favorites. You have missions, money and with it you hire staff. For example, there are cards of boats that give you money and the other ones in which you get benefits. In the corner are the points. The goal is to collect 12 or more. Seven Wonders is sensational. Now I have fallen in love with this version for two players. You have resources and other cards to create your wonders and move forward. The setting is different from the draft that you make in the version of seven players. You put the cards on the table and by turns take them. For me, it is like uniting Asian Empires and Risk. Much decision and thought. These are the points. Of course you have the expansion with more cards and options. I hope you have enjoyed games of Mr. Polyphysics collection which I also use without him, but don't tell him. I love to go out, discover new places, people, to dance, but to have a dinner and a game night is always an option full of energy, surprises, laughter and learning. Which are the favorite games of my human gigabytes? Let me know and recommend your top ones to our gang. Please subscribe, share and like this video. Show me you are on the other side, my human gigabytes. Thanks a lot. I am Paulina Lara, Polyphysics, and I see you next week. Cheers!